most commonest question that I get uh, among the patients. And this also tells like why our current orthopedic care, why it is broken. For example, if someone comes with a knee pain, let's take a knee joint, we take a knee pain, um, has a little bit of pain in the meniscus or maybe a tear, little cut in the ligament or a, or a cartilage loss or a ligament, ligament tear, any of these issues. So they can have a little pain. So that stops them from what they want to do. If they want to work out, if they want to walk, or if they want to go at their daily activities with their kids, they may have a problem. But then over a period of time with little physical therapy exercise, their symptoms get better. And uh, they see an orthopedic surgeon for that condition. The recommendation is, okay, your pain is okay now. You can maintain it. And then the patient keeps on maintaining. That means he's going to do less and less activities to trying to protect the joint. But what happens? If you don't treat that tear, what happens? The tear gets bigger. You start developing arthritis. Then you go see another doctor. And the recommendation is maybe we'll do a scope or we'll do more medication. Then the pain gets better. Then the patient waits a little longer. Go to stage three and then go to stage four, and that's when, oh, your cartilage is fully gone now, let's go do a surgery. So that system of how an orthopedic care has been done is, is very broken. Because nowadays, you have so many non-surgical options, typically, you know, regenerative options, you know, using your own stem cells, bone marrow stem cells, regenerative material from your own body, you can literally treat that meniscus or an ACL or a ligament or any of the cartilage at early stage, that means stage one, because early treatment means you saving your joint, enjoying your life, maintaining your lifestyle till the end versus you ending up in a surgery.